My name is Cannabis Rollins. My journey is beginning. A journey that I hope will open the doors of life to me and link my past with my future. A journey that will bring me to a strange and dark place. From Hammerfell to Skyrim to a house called Rollinwood. A world that I have never known with people I have never met. People who tonight are still only shadows in my mind, but who will soon fill the days and nights of my tomorrow. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. I'm to speak with Undil about the next phase of our journey. But first, let me refresh myself. The Brotherhood could be facing extinction from the east in Morrowind. The Morag Tong has sanctioned the death of all our members. From the south, in a sanctuary that we would forget, the Crimson Scars live again and seek revenge against the Brotherhood. The action that I am about to take will either save the Brotherhood or doom it. Undil? I'm all ears. You have served the family well. Your experience is required yet again. What can I do, listener? Would you be able to rearrange the words on this page? Of course, listener. I would simply need a sample of the original ink. Something I'm sure Babette could make for me. Replace Dark Brotherhood with Crimson Scars and Dawnstar with Falkreath. It will take some time to prepare the forgery, listener. Get to it. Yes, listener. All right, it's time to speak with Nazir. Excuse me, I'm going on up ahead. All right, Nazir, I see you've put on a slim-fitting Dark Brotherhood outfit. <laughs> I think everyone should start wearing one. I'll talk to Undil about getting one for himself. Maybe even Cicero. <laughs> Well, you don't seem to be very, uh, I don't know, in a fun mood right now, I'll say. The new initiates are working out well. No. Eager, dedicated, and not afraid to get their hands wet. Well, that's good to hear. Where are the twins? Sleeping, I believe. They have spent the past week on a particularly brutal contract. Wake the twins. I just saw them, actually. All right, thank you. Nothing like just walking back and forth. Back and forth. In the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary. Yes. I saw this twin earlier, Majira. Brother, 
What? Jesus carries a wig. Yes, yes. So embarrassing. Hmm. All right, Magira. But Magira. I need you to go to solitude. What is in solitude, listener? A man named Perseus Crito. Excellent. A contract. A client. Not a contract. Bring him here unharmed. Understood? Yes, listener. One more thing. Yes. Stir up some rumors about Crito to the cave on the border of Morrowind. As you command, listener. What did the listener say to you, sister? That he likes me better than you. All right, so they're off to solitude, and I need to work with our newer recruit, Aaron. Initiate, come with me. Yes, listener. This is unbelievable how many members we have. I mean, I almost can't keep up with them all. I was thinking about bringing my house guest from Rollinwood here and let them stay here, but this is a, a bit of a step down from the Rollinwood environment. Yes, we even have our orc now wearing Dark Brotherhood clothing. Very nice. So... Please see about getting I'm Dark Brotherhood clothing, sir. Yes? Yes, put them on now. There we go. Very good, very good. All right. Let's go, Aaron. Not even sure where it is we need to go. Somewhere out here in the middle of nowhere. Investigate the cave, an unknown cave. All right, I think the Telvos might be the closest we're gonna get. We're going to get to this cave. Be on your guard. There's no telling what's around here. All right, I hope you can swim. Wait a minute, did I hear voices? Ah, no matter. This might be further than I thought. Let's go ahead and see what this stone is up here.
The Serpent Stone. Must be out of soul gems. I'm not able to capture it. All right. Aaron, is that you? I hear... No, it's... A rabbit. Hmm, Aaron might be hopelessly lost. All right, which one of these markers is the one that I need? There are two caves? There's Aaron. Alright, so it's not the cave that's the marker, it's you. So where we need to go should be over here. It says investigate a cave, it looks like there's some sort of structure over here. Is this a lich? A Daedra Heart and a Freeze Blade. Alright. Interesting. And what else is there here? A Lich. An Ice Spectre. Forgive me. <laughs> and there was someone here. Hell. Oh, plenty of gold. Cold flame. Summons a garm. Interesting. Hmm, I can have an infinity of summoned creatures. Huh. Reanimate a dead body to fight for you. Only 30 seconds. Ah, so it can reanimate several dead bodies. It doesn't have much of a value. Targets freeze for 10 seconds. All right, Aaron. Ah, I can't give you these potions. All right. So we're done here. 
But this is not our mission. Come on. Wait. There's people up here. His mission is to observe the Brotherhood. He needs to blend in without being noticed. He'll be gone for several weeks. When he reports back here, we will head back to Morrowind to regroup with the rest of the Morag Tong. Then, we slaughter the Brotherhood. Seriously? You're going to say that out in the open when the Dark Brotherhood is standing in front of you? The descendant of Lucien Lachance says hello. You? No. If she were here, she would have ripped your throat out. You found Lachance's descendant, but it wasn't all for nothing. Sit this really didn't abandon us. No matter, the Brotherhood is a poison. One that we finally have the chance to get rid of once and for all. How will such a tiny force eliminate the Dark Brotherhood? You are referring to our recent disbandment. There's no reason to deny it. Like you, we were weak. The Great Houses had disbanded the Tong, and we were thought to be gone forever. Thin, whisper. Whispers of a brotherhood that was dead, reborn. I won't lie, a small part of me was happy to hear that you were back, that you hadn't all been wiped out. I was even impressed when I heard you killed the Emperor. Mm. But I know better. I know the greed at the heart of the brotherhood. I know that you won't stop until all of Tamriel bows before Sidney's. <laughs> and what makes the Tong any different? The Tong holds to ideals. We don't kill unless necessary for the good of Morrowind. Politically motivated killings to keep order in the province. Maybe that was true once. No longer. Death for the sake of death. Our organizations are two brothers, separated at birth, that grew into the same man. Then what's the point? Can there be no love between two separated brothers? I... Is this it? You ask what the point is. The point is we can't even have a civil conversation. I was going to let you go. I was going to go home and tell the great houses that I had killed you all. But you want to kill for the sake of death, to create chaos. You was, you was, you was. What will you do? Nothing, I suppose. Give up now and Sithis will go easy on your soul. My soul? My soul was lost a long time ago. Mine and my cousins. To the necromancer. How did... No matter. I take it you've never faced off against someone who has an extra soul in their body. It tends to make one... Powerful. Beyond measure. Mm. More powerful than either I or my cousin ever were on our own. Or even together. Well... I am certainly not lacking power. Just take a look here for a moment. You see the breath coming from your mask. And the breath coming from the Dark Brotherhood assassin I have. But there is no breath coming from me. And I bet you wonder why that is. <laughs> So I say now, as the listener, it is my duty to end you here. And now... Listener, am I really that important that you would send your favorite child after me? Mother, answer me! You were the one who gave me this gift. You made me powerful. And all I had to do was to slowly take over my cousin's mind. I don't even remember her name. The Brotherhood would stop at nothing. 
nothing to see any goal met. And now that the goal has been met, where is my rest? Where is my long sleep? Mother gave me a powerful gift, and all I had to do was forsake my family. I had a real family. Not like the kind that the Brotherhood pretends to be, and my family was taken from me by the Brotherhood. Now I shall use that gift to kill your children. Mother, what do you have to say to that? And after I've mutilated their corpses like I did to Lachance, I'll use that gift and tear off your head. Then there will be no more Brotherhood, and I will finally be able to rest. be joking. And you call that power? I was able to strike you down with one blow. <laughs> Aaron, are you all right? What in Jeffrey was that? I guess the ritual took a bigger toll on him than we thought. And that didn't even answer my question a little. Maybe someday I can tell you the whole story. But, yes, listener. Aaron, clean up here and bring the bodies to the sanctuary. I have an idea. As you command. Where is the other body? He has to be killed. Where did this body float off to? Does he have anything valuable? Gold. <laughs> Daedric daggers. I suppose I could sell them. Alright, this person over here needs to die. Sir. As you were. <laughs> ah, the more I've tang, tong, whatever they are, they displease me. All right, Aaron, you finish up here. I'll be back at the sanctuary. You two thought it'd be a good idea to drug a man. A man who, by the way, is paying us money to solve a problem with high doses of schooma? Uh, all that would be uh, right. You two look a little That's my wife. <laughs> all right, so what's going on up here? Nazia? Will there ever come a time when the people of Skyrim no longer need our services? I think not. What happened? The two Draga brains over there decided it would be a good idea to give a client enough skooma to calm him down enough to kidnap him. I take it things did not go well. No, sister, they did not. When they gave him the skooma, he started screaming something about cats with vampire fangs. Or maybe it was furry vampires. Ah. Uh... He's only now calmed down enough to be lucid. However, he is going to have one killer headache tomorrow. I didn't think he would have a full-on hallucination. We just gave him enough to make him agreeable. That might have been my fault. I didn't like the way he kept rubbing my tail. <laughs> so I might have given him a little dose. How much more? Jezekar doesn't think it's important. Maybe oh, enough to have him think he was a current member of the Ebonhag Pact? You are so irresponsible. Yeah, well, you're getting fat, sister. What? That's are you better. too serious? You think more clearly now. What is going on? You! I was paying you to protect me, not throw bags on my head and pump me full of skooma. And I'm pretty sure one of those Khajiit tried to eat me. He had tentacles coming out of his eyes. 
That must have been the skooma. Got to admit, I find the Night Mother's presence comforting. <laughs> well, I'm glad you do. Things proceeding well, listener? If you don't calm down, we won't be able to help you. I don't like being kidnapped. I'm beginning to regret ever contacting you people. It would have been better to let the vampires feast on me. You've signed my death warrant. Are you done? I am. Forgive me. I am just scared. Everyone, gather in the torture chamber. Babette. Hello, listener. I need your help. Anything, listener. What can I do for you? I need something to simulate death. For what purpose? To save Crito. Ah, the Mochier contract. Well, the first one anyway. I do have something prepared for such a case. This poison will simulate death, and this poison will revive deceased. You have served the family well, Speaker. What happened? Cicero is hungry. A sweet boy. What must be done, listener? And who is this man you instructed me to bring into our home? His name is Perseus Credo. He is being hunted by an ancient and powerful enemy. An enemy that has resurrected to destroy us. We have crafted a ploy to get our two enemies to fight each other. We're going to use them as bait. You're going to do what? <laughs> this one needs something? Undil? Yes? Undil. I have one more question for you. Can you change me into Feral there? No, not exactly. But I could use the spell that Tharn used to deceive everyone into thinking he was Uriel Septim. And that would make everyone think that you were he. It's a rather simple spell. Do it. And do the same to the twins with the other bodies on the floor. I need a moment to prepare a spell. Here is the forged writ in the meantime. Thank you. I don't feel any different. All right, so what's next? All right, I suppose we look the same to ourselves, but different to someone else. All right, well, let's go finish the contract. Why does Jezekiel have to be the female dad? Why, brother? Besides, you look pretty. Yeah, well, you look handsome in that fun. Thank you. I thought so, too. <laughs> you didn't think that through too well, did you? No. Going to die. Greeter, All right. You. Wait, what? This merry little chase you've taken me on across Skyrim. But now it is time for it to What's end. this? You've been a very naughty boy, selling materials used to make weapons to those vampire hunters in the southeast. Sithis demands your blood for what you have done. Who are your friends? I've hired them to protect me from you. They're, they're assassins. From the Meringue Talk. 
The tongue. Nice try, Crito. Hmm. Everyone a knows vampire. they have It appears that they have taken you for a fool. Careful. Now, do with him as you will. There. The gall of these people. To think that they even have the power to contest mine. All right, Perseus. Is there anything else? For some reason, he's not wearing his outfit. All right, Crito. Let's figure out the next part of this scheme. So, after an inspiring speech from Nazir, we now make our way to the cave bordering Mord Morrowind, where the Morag Tong and our destiny await. So I need to strike him with the Langerwine Blade. Who has got that blade? Is it you? It's just an ebony sword. Was I given the blade? I was. All right. Forgive me. All right, now I need to plant the writ of assassination. Is it in the evidence chest? What evidence chest? Inside here. Let's go. That's a little easier on the eyes. This is it. Let me just read this. The Crimson Scars have been marked for honorable execution in accordance to the lawful tradition and practice of the Moragtong Guild. The bearer of this non-disputable document has officials a sanction license to destroy the Crimson Scars. <laughs> Hide in the prison cell. All right. All right. What? Greedo and Glendale are both dead. That is most unfortunate. Master Arius will be most displeased.
I'm not sure what they're expecting me to do. Huh. One of our own. Well, I suppose there's nothing left to do but to confront them. The man who captured me? No, I haven't seen them in days. It's a writ of execution. From, from the Murad Tom? Yes, it appears Crito was telling the truth. The Tom have reformed, and they're after our blood. Why would they want us dead? I don't know. Well, if they want us all dead, then maybe we should kill them all first. The brother will have to wait. They don't even know of our intentions. You need to tell Wolf about this. What about them? Mm -hmm. I haven't had a snack in days. Brother, you know Wolf will kill us if we eat someone who doesn't have a contract on their life. Let them out of the cage. There is no one in the cave. How did they slip out? No matter. We have important news we need to get to Wolf right away. So, they didn't notice anything odd about the door being open. Oh well. Brother, sustain me. Thank you. All right, let's go. Feel like killing them, but that might ruin the plan. There. All right. Now, aren't I supposed to be doing something with him to bring him back to life? It says return to the Dawn Star Sanctuary. All right, we must make our way home. All right, then, Crito. Alright, we've returned back to the sanctuary. Where is Vala? Nothing like having dinner with masks on, Vala. Good thing you're here. I was just starting to get bored. Report. I've recruited six more members. Six? My, you have been busy. Well, it has been a few weeks since we've seen each other. Has How did it? the vampire hunting go? Every bit as challenging as I thought it might be. I suppose you were right to hold me back. So what's the plan? I'm not sure. I'm going to speak with the Night Mother. Sounds good. Mind if I stand with you? I suppose you've earned that right. <laughs> All right. Need something? Mm. 
Just amazing how this place is coming along. Here we are. Valar Matthias, silencer to the listener. She has done a great service to the family. Her actions have helped make the Brotherhood a name to be feared again. She honors her family. Listener, is that you? Lucien Lachance. In life, you have served the Brotherhood with a passion that we have never before seen. In death, that passion has not diminished. In life, you met a woman who showed you a kindness. Adriara Amatius. Even though your union lasted but a single night, a child was born. And so on, and so forth until today. And here we are, 200 years later. This woman is your blood. Oh, what? Come, child. We have much to discuss. I am honored, Speaker of the Chats. Listener, sending the scars after the Morak Tong was quick thinking. Still, I fear that we have not seen the last of them yet. There is but one final task for you to consider. Keep in mind, this is not a command, my child. Merely a suggestion. While you were gathering power for the Brotherhood, Lachance was tracking down the Necromancer from the memory of Arquin. He has set up in the cave where you experienced the memory. Take Vala and Lachance to that cave and offer them a choice of having Lachance bound to Vala. However, the ultimate decision is up to you, my child. Additionally, we must begin to fill up our other sanctuaries. You must appoint leaders for each sanctuary, appoint the remaining two speakers of the Black Hand, and assign each speaker to lead a sanctuary. As you will it, Night Mother. It's too bad you didn't hear any of that, Cicero. <laughs> All right, it's time to appoint new speakers to our additional sanctuaries. <laughs> 